Hello everyone. Welcome to our presentation. Uh, today Avinash, Lina and I are going to present our case on the optimal investment decision Ecotricity Group should make for the expansion of Electric Highway. Before we proceed with the analysis, I'd like to give an executive summary of the entire presentation. Ecotricity has a vision of building an electric highway. In order to meet the charging demands of electric cars that pass highways M4, M5 and M40, and to stay within its budget of 650,000, it has to decide between type A and type B chargers in an optimal and feasible way. On the basis of our analysis, we recommend the following. 1. Build at least 11 type A and 26 type B charging stations. 2. Increase type A charger constraint from 2 to 4 or type B charger constraint from 6 to 10 on highway M4056. 3. Increasing type A charger constraint from 4 to 5 or type B charger constraint from 3 to 5 at M423. Okay, moving ahead. What is the problem that we are trying to solve here for ecotricity? In order to make an optimal decision between type A and type B chargers, it is important to note that type A chargers are public charging points like service stations on motorways, relatively more expensive chargers but could charge more cars than type B chargers. Type B chargers are private charging points with existing household customers. Given this, which type of charger should be increased more in comparison to the other on highways M40 and M4 given the traffic congestion on both highways and expected increase in charging capacity from an increment in the number of charges? For analysis, we organize the relevant data from exhibits 1, 2, 3 and 4. Table 1 shows the current outstanding demand. Table show 2 shows the current price, charge time, number of sockets and charging capacity for type A and type B chargers. I'll now hand it over to Avinash. Thank you Arushi. The goal is to build the maximum number of new charging stations within the allocated total budget. Let's assume the number of chargers to be installed on each highway as given in this table. For example, the number of chargers on highway M5 June 1 is denoted by M5 underscore 01 underscore A and so on. The LP model we formulated is as given here. It's basically the maximum of the sum of the total number of type A chargers multiplied by 96 and the total number of type B chargers multiplied by 48. 96 is the number of vehicles charged by type A charger per day and 48 is the number of vehicles charged by type B charger per day. Now this model has to follow three constraints. The first one is the budget. The total cost of all new chargers should be less than 650k British pound. Second is each highway zone has maximum available spots where the chargers can be installed. Third one is both charger distributions should be in such a way that it must meet the outstanding demand. For example, highway M5 zone 1 is having outstanding demand for charging equal to 196 vehicles every day as of now. Now we will bind this model in analytical solver using Microsoft Excel to find an optimal solution. After binding and running the solver, we get a solution like this as shown in table 3. Here we are using Gurobi solver engine. As we can see that it produced a solution model of budget 650, uh, 645k which is less than 650k. Moreover, it suggests the number of chargers on each highway in row number 11. This is point number 1 recommendation in the executive summary. This picture shows the constraints and objective functions coded in solver. This is about the objective setting, this is about uh, variables are normal, and this is about the non-negativity test, this is about the constraint 1, and this is about the constraint 2. Moving on, let's dissect this uh, solution model. The suggested budget is well within the limit. Next, we see that the most congested highway are M4 zone 23 and M40 zone 56 with the demand of 435 and 472 vehicles respectively every day. Solver so solution provide the charging supply of 480 for highway M40 zone 56 which is very tight considering the growing traffic in the near future. Moreover, highway M5 zone 1 has got the only one type A charger though we can install three chargers total in this region. So, can we improve this model? Here is what we suggesting. 
the first recommendation is to increase the type a charger constraint from 2 to 4 or type b charger constraint from 6 to 10 for highway m40 zone 56 this means ecotricity has to build two more public charging stations at highway m40 zone 56 if that is not possible then it has to find and convince the for more households to install type B chargers. If any of this is successful, the charging capacity will increase from 480 to 600, 672, that is 40% increment. Second recommendation is to increase the type A charger constraint from 4 to 5 or type B charger constraint from 3 to 5 for highway M4, June 23. This means if Ecotricity can build uh, one more public charging station or find two more households to install Type B charger in highway region M4 zone 23, it will increase the charging capacity from 528 to 624, that is 18% increment in that region. Impact of these enhancements are shown in following page. Here is how the suggested solution model will look like. So, Increasing the type A constraint and uh, running the solver again, we get the new capacity value. The same thing we will repeat for the type B solution. Here we are increasing the constraint and then we are getting the new value. Both enhancement increase the vehicle charging capacity from 480 to 672, which is 40% increment. Case 2 onwards for highway M4 June 23 will be explained by Lina. When we have quantity 4 of type A charger and quantity 3 of type B charger on highway M423, the number of vehicles needs to be charged every day at M423 is 528. When we change the constraint by improving the charging capability on highway M423, increase quantity of type A charger from 4 to 5 on highway M423, the number of vehicles needs to be charged every day increases to 624. By increased quantity of Type B charger on Highway M423 from 3 to 5, the number of vehicles needs to be charged every day at M423 also increases to 624. There is a 18% outstanding demand increment for both scenarios. The charging capability is it increased from 528 to 624 vehicles on Highway M423. Ecotricity can be successful in the long term for electric highway expansion by leverage either to consolidate existing market position or use them for further expansion with an optimal investment decision. One expansion strategy could include installing private chargers Type B as the homes of Ecotricity customers, since number of service stations for a public chargers Type A would be limited. Also, the expansion by planning more Type A chargers will be on fully dedicated service stations, since they are more efficient and easy to access if there is no time constraint. The weaknesses are the areas, capabilities, or skills in which ecotricity chargers lag. One improvement that we can do is uh, the model should allocate Type A charger uh, more efficiently for Highway M501. For the threats that uh, ecotricity chargers face, there will be increasing cost components because of environmental regulations. Ecotricity chargers may result into higher logistics costs and higher packaging costs and the chargers installed in residential areas may uh, cause higher congestion and uh, that may involve certain legal compliances which are not considered while building the model. Ecotricity chargers uh, should also focus on areas where it can improve the customer purchase and post-purchase experience. As a conclusion, by providing more accessible charging stations in the areas where Ecotricity has fewer charging points earlier, it can accomplish the vision of electric and green highways in an effectual and substantial way. The solution model presented by this case analysis will assuredly help in growing the number of charging points in the highway M4, M5, and M40 regions. 
The new vision is to let new customers help make that happen by joining Ecotricity. This case analysis will help towards the Ecotricity's goal of ensuring electricity chargers work, work well to make an impact on the environment and end fossil fuels with the help of green electricity and green gas to reach Vincent's vision of a Green Britain vision by 2030.